let's talk about why we decide to run away from our problems i feel like i am the perfect person to talk about this because i used to always run away from our problems and i would never want to just sit down and deal with them first off we run away from our problems is because it has to deal with changing you see us as humans we love to be comfortable we love to be in environments that make us feel comfortable we love dressing up comfortable we just love to be around what we're used to but sometimes within those environments it can be very damaging it can prevent us from growing it can prevent us from really taking off the veil and seeing what is truly right in front of us and change can be hard change can be very much so uncomfortable and it's not everyone's cup of tea so within my life how i would run away from the problems that i needed to face was i would go to relationships romantic relationships in particular you see if i felt like there was something wrong with me or if i felt like i was missing something or if i seen some an emotion appear i would automatically would want to go run to a guy so he can make me feel better because i thought I thought being in a relationship, I thought, you know, having a significant other would solve all of my problems. <laughs> oh my god. Also, moving, traveling. For example, me in this room. Within these years of just me posting these videos, y'all have constantly seen me in different locations from time to time. Um, in particular, the setting. So before i would always record in the other room which was my room right and that is because i felt like being in this room wasn't going to fulfill what i needed meaning more space meaning to just feel better and all of that like i thought by moving to the other room it would create it would solve a problem Within these past two years, I've been moving in and out, in and out, back and forth because I thought it would relieve something. I thought it would fix something that was going on from within, but you have to realize nothing external. If you change anything external, your physical appearance, the way your room looks, uh, switching another room, going and moving to a whole different state date or just trying to go on vacation because you want to run away from all your problems realize it's gonna stay the same it's only gonna change if you decide to change it's only going to change if you decide to sit with the uncomfortability and to sit down with your emotions and let them release and be angry with yourself and figure out why is it that you keep attracting the same situations the same circumstances within your life what is it about you that you need a change you need a fix is it your mind is it the way that you speak to others how you treat others how you treat yourself is it your habit you really have to sit down and examine every little single thing that's preventing you from getting to where you want to go and i'm sorry to break it to you like there's no easier way i mean maybe there is there's definitely an easier way out but if you want to get the true results if you want to get the results that will fill you, your heart's desires you gotta become somebody new even yesterday like i was just tired of living my old story i was so tired of living my old story living in what i used to believe in and i had to real i had to remind myself and i had to realize like i am a new person i am doing big things i am a businesswoman with multiple different businesses how am I supposed to get to where I need to go if I don't fix what's from within? Meaning my mindset, my home, my space, my area. You see, a lot of you are entrepreneurs. A lot of you guys that watch me are entrepreneurs. How do you expect 
growth within your YouTube channel? How do you expect growth within your your business if your room is a mess, if your car is a mess, if your mind is just filled with clutter because essentially what's inside is going to reflect from the outside so if you are struggling within your businesses really think about your environment that's why environment is key it's not always about people friends it's your home your your home your space where you're always lounging in where you're always working in like how does your desk look like is it a is it a complete mess because literally everything is a reflection everything is a reflection so that's why it's so important to be key and to be prominent and to examine every little single thing in your life because then you're able you're able to take away things and add things in you're able to fix things easily little by little you see you you don't have to just fully put yourself all into this change you don't have to completely reinvite yourself within a whole day that's just not realistic and you're gonna burn out and you're gonna find yourself unhappy and stressed and overwhelmed because you feel like you have to change within a day realize the growth process is an ongoing journey it's going to be long until we die you see we're never going to reach our full potential because there's always another level after another level and you have to realize that like it's okay to constantly make mistakes it's okay to you know clean your room and then the next day it's a whole mess like it's okay you're learning and you're growing you just have to figure out a way where you're able to not fall back into the old habit yesterday i just finished reading the mountain is you by i'm gonna pull it up for y'all by Brianna Weist. Weist. Brianna W I E S T. Yeah, her. And she talks a lot about self sabotage. She talks a lot about habits. She talks a lot about how we can transform ourselves and not fall back. And it's just the little thing. So let's say you you want to be more organized you want to be more clean you know you want to live in a space where you feel at peace as soon as something is in front of you that doesn't make you feel at peace that causes frustration anxiety that causes you to be like whoa this is a mess start cleaning it little by little you know maybe it's your desk area right maybe you know you were in a rush with certain things and you were looking for something and your desk is a mess within that moment just put everything back it's okay and i feel like a lot of the time especially within myself i feel like i was just running out of time time is a very interesting topic and i'm not gonna get deep into it but we don't have a lot of time but we have all the time in the world in a way i know right confusing but just follow along realize it's not a race it's not a race y'all it's a journey and the moment we just sit with ourselves and breathe and tell ourselves like it's okay you know we're going to get there we're going to be the person we want to be we're going to have the success that we want we're going to live the life that we've always dreamt of like it's okay it's it, it's the becoming it's the becoming that's important it's the sitting down with yourself and uncovering all the things that you hate about yourself uh being honest with yourself about certain situations maybe you were at fault within things maybe it wasn't the other person maybe it was just you right and in order to be aware of that and in order to get out of this continuous cycle that we put ourselves in we have to do the nitty-gritty work we have to get dirty we have to be uncomfortable we have to cry we have to be depressed we have to feel all these negative emotions in order for us to propel into the next level by doing that honestly it's so beautiful maybe not in the present moment maybe it just feels like shit but coming out of it 
you feel free coming out of it you feel brand new and don't do it all alone don't do it all alone if you feel like you need help if you feel like you don't know where to start talk to a friend talk to a mentor talk to god god will always provide he will always give us what we need he will always bring somebody to help us move forward to get out of this cycle but you just have to ask if you don't ask for help you're never going to receive the help if you don't ask to gain clarity if you don't ask for anything how do you expect to get anything so when it comes to a certain situation that rises a certain emotion from within right that requires you to take a look inside instead if you find yourself wanting to run away from it stop yourself stop yourself grab a journal get your phone and put on a voice recording talk to god call a friend and just release just release just ask questions maybe you might not know the answer right away maybe you won't get the answer right away but ask questions it's so important to ask questions because when you ask questions this opens up a lot of possibility versus when you're just like okay this is what it is and there's nothing to it and you move on that's not gonna make you grow that's not going to cause any awareness it's just you think it's everything's happening to you versus it happening for you ask yourself what can i learn from this ask yourself what did i do to put myself into this situation or what is this trying to teach me always ask yourself questions and then you'll find yourself like it'll be so much easier to move along the process it'll be so much easier to sit down with yourself and focus on you and what you need to do in order to become this new version of you because everything that you want every single goal every single friendship any relationship let's just say your business success it requires you to be a new person and that's the only way you're going to get it it's going to require an identity it's going to re require a new perception of yourself and like i said it's an ongoing journey if you're here watching if you're here listening know that you are exactly where you need to be in this present moment god has directed you here to let you know that it's okay you're gonna be good you're gonna be fine you are exactly where you need to be because in order for you to get to point a to point b you gotta go through shit. you gotta you gotta go through struggle you have to find yourself again you have to figure out what's gonna work for you you have to figure out how things will make sense so with that being said i hope y'all enjoyed this and i will catch you guys next week peace